Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. In this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add text to your videos in a variety of different styles. And so the first way is to simply make the text appear Welcome to like that. So that's a very simple method. The next way is to actually add a little bit of animation, but having the same exact text. Let's go ahead and look at this one. Welcome to where it slides in. And then the final method is going to be a combination of all of these things. And it's going to stand out quite a bit more than the text that we just had previously. So let's go ahead and look at that. Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. All right. So let's go ahead and see how we can add these texts to our videos. Okay. And so the first text we want to add is going to be fairly simple. We basically just want text to appear on top of our video. And so once you brought your clip down to your project timeline, go ahead and make sure your clip is selected. And then you could go to your filters tab here or come up here to filters and go here to the plus sign and do a search for text. And here you'll see three different types of text, 3D, HTML, and simple. Simple is the one we want to use. So we'll go ahead and double click on that. And what you'll now notice is there is some text on top of your video and the default is a time code. So here you could type in whatever you want. So in this case, I just want the text to match what I'm saying in the video. So that's going to be my opening text. We'll go ahead and type it on there. Okay. And so once you had your text in, you'll notice that the text does appear uh, throughout your entire video. And the text itself, you could definitely alter it. Uh, you could change the font color here. So let's go ahead and make this yellow. And then you could also change the font as well. So let's go ahead and change this to something a little bit cooler. Let's use this robo text. And then you could also change the outline color and thickness as well. So the default is black. You might not be able to see it right now, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and increase the outline color. So it'll just make it more apparent. And also you could change the background color as well. Right now it is transparent, uh, but you can add a different background color if you want it. And you could also add some padding as well. And then down here, you could actually adjust the position. Uh, you could do this numerically and you could also adjust the horizontal fit right here, left, center, right. And also the vertical fit, top, middle and bottom. So let's go ahead and do a middle one. And that's how we add our text. And the easiest way to actually adjust the dimensions and position, you could simply just adjust it right here. You could drag it wherever you want. So that's a super easy way to do that. But if you want to be more precise, uh, you could just go ahead and type in the numbers there if you like. But we're going to go ahead and stick with this for now. And so now we have our text uh, with a different font, different colors, and also different background color position right here in the middle. Welcome to and the thing is, this is going to appear throughout the entire time. video which is not exactly where we want. So in this case, I just want it to appear whenever I'm saying these words at the beginning. So I just want it to go here and then I want it to stop right here. So there are a number of ways that you can do that. So the first way is you could actually just go ahead and do a cut of the area that you want the actual text to remain. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and use this right here, split at playhead. So I'm going to split it right here Welcome to and then I'm going to split it about right here. Okay. So now what you notice is whenever you play your video, uh, we'll go ahead and remove this text here. And then for this part of the clip, we're going to remove it here as well. So whenever you play this, to it'll only appear in this part that you've actually kept it. And then the other parts of the clips, it shouldn't appear anymore because we removed that filter. So that's one way you could actually change the position of where your actual text appears. But the way I like to use is to actually use keyframes. So let me go ahead and undo this right here. So let's go ahead and add our text again because it accidentally removed all our text as well. So we'll make this real simple. I'm just gonna add some dummy text, all right? So here we'll go ahead and type in welcome, okay? And let's assume that this is where it starts and it ends right here. So here you can actually go to your keyframes tab down here, or you can go to keyframes up here. So let's go ahead and go to keyframes. And this is really cool because with keyframes, you can control where it's at, where it appears and how long it stays. 
uh, but at the same time you don't have to do any splicing or cutting of your clip so this is the beginning of the keyframe so let's just say I wanted to start right here you could simply drag this right here welcome to okay episode of geekoutdoors.com and then say you want it to end right here you'll go here and then choose set the filter in and this is where your actual filters gonna begin and end and so if we go back to our actual timeline let's watch this again welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com so the witcher and that's it and now it's appeared and disappeared at exactly the point that you want so that is a very simple way for you to add text on top of your video and also the way in which you control where the text appears and how long it appears so let's go ahead and move over to the second method where we're going to go ahead and add some animation. So animating your text could be a simple process or it could be as complex as you want it to be. So let's go ahead and start off with the easy method. So just like the previous step, we're going to go ahead and select our clip and then add our simple text filter. And I'm going to use the same text that I had previously. And now the super easy way to animate this text is to use presets. So the simple text filter has a lot of great presets already built in and most of them have animation. So in this case, let's choose slide in from left and I'm also gonna change the font color and the font just to give it a cool look and also the position as well. So let's go ahead and check out our first animated text. Welcome to another episode. And there it is. Very simple to do and it didn't take but a few seconds to add. And at the same time, you could choose different presets. It really depends on what you like. About the only drawback when using the presets is it resets everything. So you're going to have to adjust those again. But as you can see, it is super easy to add animated text to your videos. So now let's go ahead and look at the more in-depth and I would say more complex way of animating your text depending on what you want to do. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now, if you want more control and flexibility over your text animation, then you can use keyframes. Now, I briefly went over this in the very first step, but now we're going to go into more detail. And if you wanted to see a more in-depth explanation of keyframes, I did do an entire video on that, and I'll leave it in the description below if you're interested. So let's go ahead and add our simple text filter. And I'm going to use the same text that I had previously. To get to your keyframes, you could come down here to your keyframes tab, or you could come up here. Now, once we're here, you'll notice that I do already have some text right here in the middle. But the thing is, the text stays in the same position throughout the entire clip. So there is no animation right now. And so the first way you could add some animation is by using the method that I did previously, and that's by using simple keyframes. So in this case, all you have to do is drag this out. And so the longer you drag this out, the longer it's going to take to animate and to get to this final position and size. And so how you would adjust the position and size at the beginning is you would take your playhead and go right here to the beginning of your keyframe. And now you could adjust the size and also the position. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Welcome to and there it is. We actually have added our animation right now. And we could also control where the animation appears and where it ends. So in this case, I want it to end right here. And we're gonna go ahead and set a filter in. And that is our ending keyframe. And so you could also extend this out as well, where you could adjust the final position and size, just like you did previously, if you wanted to. So if you go here to the end, now you can adjust this again. And if we watch this, from the beginning, it's going to zoom in, Welcome to then it eventually it's going to zoom back out, but on a different position and size. So that's the first way that you could actually animate your text by using simple keyframes. So the second way to use keyframes to animate our text is going to be a little bit more complex. However, it's going to give you the most control and flexibility. So the first thing we want to do is go here to use keyframes for this parameter. And what you'll notice is there is a secondary track created and this is only for our keyframes. So this is the position and size. And so the first thing I want to do is something very similar to what I did previously. I'm going to come here to the beginning of the clip. I'm going to adjust the size and the position. So this is where things are going to start out. And if you notice, I have two different keyframes. So we'll go ahead and watch that. Welcome to. And now we have our beginning animation. And so in this case, you might be wondering, why would I use this more complex method when I can do the same thing using simple keyframes. 
Well, the main reason why you want to use the more advanced keyframes is that you're not limited by how many keyframes that you can use. Whereas with the simple keyframes, you're limited to just two keyframes. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add another keyframe here. And then I'm going to add another one right here. And it's going to be at a different position and size right here. And then finally, I'm going to add one more keyframe here where it's going to go up here on the top. And I'm going to extend this out. All right, so that's going to be my ending position. So let's go ahead and check this out. So we'll go to the beginning of our clip. Let's go ahead and watch that. Welcome to there's our animation. There's our second one. And there's our final one. So as you can see, by using the more advanced keyframes, you have way more control over the type of animation that you have. And also more keyframes that you can use. So that's how you would actually animate your text using keyframes, both the simple method and the more advanced method. And so the final type of text we're going to work on today is going to be a combination of everything that we learned so far, plus pop-up text. So if you're not familiar with pop-up text is, it's basically whenever I'm speaking, different text pops up instead of having the entire sentence shown all at the same time. So let me show you the very straightforward way to do that. So you're going to go to the point where you want to have your first text or word appear. So in this case, I want welcome. welcome. So what we're going to do is going to put a playhead here and then choose split at playhead and then go to the point where it ends and we'll put another split at playhead. And then we'll go to that specific clip, make sure our playhead is over it and we're going to add a simple text. Now this isn't going to be exactly perfect, but I just want to show you how this works. Okay. And in this case, I also want to move it right here in the front and then the second one I want to add is right here so we'll go ahead and add a split right here then we'll go to the clip add another simple text okay and this one let's go ahead and put it on the lower third or maybe just bottom left right here so we'll just put that on there Okay, and this one I'm going to use a different color as well. So let's use this light green color. And let's use a different font as well so that sticks out. Okay, so let's see how this looks like. So we'll go ahead and watch this. Welcome to another episode. So as you can see that at every point of this, different text appears. Another episode of and then I'm going to put another one right here. And we'll add another really brief text for this one. All right. And then I'm going to add one more. So here's the last one. So we'll add another split here. And then we're going to go ahead and put this one right in the center. And I'm going to move it right here. And we'll put the last piece of text. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and change the color and also the font as well. All right. So let's see how this looks like from the beginning. Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoor.com. So that is how you would do this whole pop up text. And that's probably the most straightforward way and easiest way to do this. However, I don't really like this method because you are splitting up so much of your clips and so you have all these different pieces of your video and so this could be a problem later on especially if you're working on multiple clips on your timeline. So let me show you the method that I like to use whenever I need to use a lot of different text over my clips. And so the method that I like to use is I like to have the text on its own separate track. And the reason why I feel this is a better approach is if you ever needed to make changes in the future to your text or your timings and you use the previous split method, it could be very difficult to do. And if you had multiple clips where you use the same method, it could be an absolute nightmare. So let's see how we could do it the other way. So the first thing we're going to do is add our video track. You can either right click on your mouse, add a video track, or you could go up here. Now we have our video track above our video clip. And now we're going to go up here to open other and choose text. So you can type in whatever you want. And what all this is going to do is add a simple text filter. 
And just like we did before, you can adjust the position, size, fonts, and so forth. But the difference here is that we can now choose the actual text itself. So make sure you select the text. And now you could drag it down to this brand new video track. And now it is above our video clip. And so let's go ahead and adjust this briefly. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change the font. And I'm also going to change the position of this as well. So we'll go ahead and move it up here. So just like we had previously. And now the great thing is, since this text is on its own separate track, you don't have to worry about affecting your video clip. And you can adjust the size and the position as you need. So in this case, if we just play this back, Welcome to there's that first bit of text. And then you could even copy this and then paste it right here. So we'll just do a control C and then you paste it at your playhead. And now you can adjust the text right here. So this makes it really easy if you wanted to use the same text or font. In this case, I don't want it to be the same text or font. So let's make it a lot smaller. And we'll also make it a different color as well. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly uh, so that you could kind of get the idea. And we'll move it down here. And we'll go ahead and copy another one. We'll go here and paste it. And this won't be exactly the same as the timing, but I just want to show you how this works. All right. And let's go ahead and look at this. So we'll play this. Welcome to another episode. Of so as you can see there, our text showed up at different points in the video. You could also make it stay longer another if you want. So that I think is a much better way to add multiple pieces of text without having to adjust your original video clip. And so the last thing I want to do now is add some animation to this. Now before I add the animation, I'm going to go ahead and add another filter. Let's add a rotate and scale filter. And also I'm going to change the text up just a little bit and go back to my favorite type of font. All right. And we're going to change the color as well. And I'm also going to change the size. And it's going to be right here in the middle. So now let's go ahead and head over to our keyframes. So here, it's just going to be right here in the middle, but I actually wanted to change the original position and size before it gets to this point. So I'm going to change this to rotate and scale, then go to the very beginning of this keyframe. And I'm going to move this out a little bit. So now at the very beginning, I want it to start off like this, and then for it to be bigger. So let's see how this looks like. Yes. So here we're going to go back to our project timeline. Let's watch this from the beginning. So we'll watch this. Bam. So there we have a combination of what we learned previously. We have animated text and we also have pop-up text as well. So that's how you would actually add text to your videos within Shotcut. As I've shown you here, there are a variety of ways to do this. And you can have a lot of fun and be super creative. And so if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you add text to your videos, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.